Let me read you a story. The legend. A person is brought into the hospital, completely frozen and assumed to be dead. The doctor taps the body with his pen, declares, Yup, that's dead. And the presumed corpse is taken to the morgue, morgue, yes, morgue, before any kids can accidentally get their tongue stuck to it. But that's not the end of the story. As the body thaws, it begins to stir, and eventually rises to its feet, and walks out of the hospital as if nothing happened. I need to swallow for a second. I have mucus. That's disgusting. The truth? When a neighbor found G when a bleh. when a neighbor found Jean Hilliard in the snow, she was frozen solid. That's not you. Thinism. Oh, whatever. She was literally frozen like a turkey in your grandma's deep breeze. Her body was too frozen to pierce with a needle, her temperature too low to register, and when they took her to the hospital, they loaded her into the car diagonally like a piece of lumber from Home Depot. She was, by nearly every measure, literally stone cold dead. When the Jean Sickle arrived at the hospital doctors, sorry, at the hospital, doctors tried to thaw her out, but nobody had much hope for a happy ending. Even if she wasn't dead, all medical evidence suggested she would at least have severe frostbite and brain damage. As Jean lay, wrapped in an electric heating pad, her eyelids began to flutter, and after some time she thawed completely, returning to life as if nothing had happened. She showed absolutely no ill effects from her little nap in the snowbank, no frostbite, no brain damage, not even any freezer burn. The 19-year-old woman was from North Dakota and had essentially come back from the dead completely unharmed. Had she been sipping, and had she been sipping on, ugh, I am sorry, I am terrible at reading stories, sorry. Had she been sipping on antifreeze cocktails earlier in the evening? Did Mr. Free secretly give, give her up for an adoption as a baby? Dr. George Sather, who treated her, isn't ruling anything out. As he put it, I can't explain why she's alive. Nobody knows for sure, but she certainly has a hell of a story to tell her kids if they ever got if they ever try to go out in the cold with their out their hats and okay, I suck at reading stories, and I'm not gonna take several takes to do that because I'll just keep messing up. So too bad.